Several weeks ago, we visited the nude beaches around Oakland. A trip that brought us to some spectacular places and we really thought that we have seen the best of it. But then the messages started coming in and apparently we made a huge mistake. Apparently, we had been ignorant and skipped the best beach of all. What can we say? We're sorry. Yeah. But today, we're gonna try to correct that error. We are Nick and Lens. For the last five years, we have been traveling to some of the most amazing nature's places on the planet. And now we embarked on an epic journey to experience naturism in every continent of the world. Subscribe and travel along with us. Right now, we are in New Zealand. This video has been sponsored by the Oakland Outdoor Nature's Club. This is the main reason why at first we had decided to skip Little Palm Beach. It's such a hassle to get to and of course the traffic jam is something we nobody can do anything about. But we also have to take a ferry and we have to take a bus. In contrast, there were plenty of nude beaches close to Auckland on the mainland that we could easily access and that were beautiful one after the other. So now we are wondering if it's really going to be worth it. Everybody says it will, but seriously, it's got to have to be very good to beat everything we've already seen. So the expectations for this beach are not here, but way over here, out of the picture. And I can tell you, when Lynn spent an hour in traffic jam, she's going to be very hard to satisfy. The car is not coming to the island with us. It is possible to take a, a car ferry, but it's really expensive. I think it's cheaper to take a flight to Bali than to take the car ferry to Waiheke Island. So we're going to leave it here in the parking lot for the next two days. and. Continue on foot. Now the next step in our plan is try to figure out where we can buy bus tickets. This is a bit of a downside of traveling to New Zealand. The country is very well organized, but when it comes to public transport, they still work with things like tickets that you have to buy in some place instead of just credit card tickets or something or online tickets would have been much more efficient. But it's not so we have to search for tickets. Hello, I'm looking for an AT hop vending machine. AT hop vending machine, you see how much information there? Uh huh. You cross over, on the left is the glass building, there's a hop machine down there. Now we got this. We don't need the bus tickets just yet, only when we get to, to the island. But I heard that it's difficult to find them on the island, so we had to get them here in Auckland. So next is a. Uh, Coffee. Coffee. I'm <laughs> waiting for the ferry. <laughs> from what we heard, Waiheke Island is the top holiday destination for people from Auckland. So we're not really sure what to expect. I just hope that's not going to be some kind of Disneyland. That's actually going to be authentic. The ferry from Auckland to Waiheke Island costs 55 New Zealand dollars for return ticket. It's not cheap for just a 45 minute ride, but you're treated with a lot of beautiful views along the way. We got to the island, meanwhile it's about noon. This trip is perfectly possible to do in one day, just leave Auckland, go, come to the island, go to Nude Beach and leave in the evening back to Auckland. But we figured let's take two days just so we can spend more time at, at the beach. Now it's time to use our freshly bought bus tickets because the Nude Beach is on the other side of the island. Do you want to see something really cool? Here. So we need to take the 502 to Palm Beach and it passed by Ostend, Belgium Street. I mean, it is a sign. It is a sign that it's gonna be an amazing beach. Where is it on the map? <laughs> uh, Belgium Street, uh, Ostend, it's... and Little Beach. Little Beach is here. Further? Here's Palm Beach. Ah, 
Palm Beach, yes. Should we wait? I don't know. What are, are there the... instructions on our very expensive box <laughs> to get on the bus? What are the New Zealandic customs of taking a bus? Yeah. I don't know. Oh. So we need to tap twice, part two. Okay, thank, thank you. you. See, one could tap at the machine, the other one, the driver had to tap for some reason. It's a complicated system. I would happily complain a lot more about how much I dislike the ticketing system of New Zealand public transport, but that would probably kind of suck the fun out of this video, and eventually we were moving closer towards the beach. You've already seen half of Waiheke Island. <laughs> First impression? Um, I think there is um, a lot of money on this island. Just looking at the houses, yeah, that is my first impression. <laughs> and apparently you are also staying in a very nice house. This is a really nice BMW. And just to say, we don't stay in the whole house, we just have the room. But it is a really nice room and it is very close to the beach, so that's good. Just quickly in between, before we take you to the beach, I would like to say a few words about today's sponsor. And although we stayed in a lovely Airbnb on the island, there was one downside and that was that we couldn't walk around naked, which is something that is perfectly fine at the Oakland Outdoor Nature's Club. A1C is a nature's retreat for both locals and tourists. Its ideal location at less than half an hour drive from downtown Oakland makes it the perfect base to explore the city or to escape from it. But in a lush green setting, AONC offers a variety of facilities like a swimming pool, spa, clubhouse, hiking trails, numerous games and a bar during the weekends. Beyond recreational pursuits, the club fosters its sense of community, acceptance and body positivity and it is a perfect place to meet other naturists in a safe and respectful environment. You could even use AONC as a perfect base to explore Little Palm Beach on Wahiki Island. Talking of which, let's go to the beach. Now that we're settled in, it's finally the moment that we've all been waiting for. Well, you've only been waiting for a couple of minutes throughout this video. We've already been traveling for hours. But then again, we also will get to experience this live. Well, you will have to watch it on video, but we will try our very best to make it look, to make it feel as real as possible while you're watching this. So we're going down the road to a place called Paul Beach. This is not yet the nude beach, as you can obviously see. There's a lot of bathing suits, but this is Palm Beach. And we are looking for a little Palm Beach, which should be at the very end. And you cannot really see that there are some rocks separating two beaches, so it's probably gonna be at the other end of those rocks. But if it looks anything like this, what it's probably gonna do, this is beautiful. It looks promising. It really looks promising. There's already a guy gawking. That's a good sign. Good news, it is a nude beach. Well, it's mostly clothing optional, I think. It's about 50-50. And is this the most beautiful nude beach we've seen in New Zealand? I'm not 100% certain, but it is really beautiful. This is Caribbean. This is even more Caribbean than the Caribbean. But what's probably the best about this nude beach is the balance. It's like we have a clothing balance and naked and clothed, but also in age, in gender, in color, and this is something we haven't seen before in New Zealand. Most of the time it was yeah, very male dominant to the point that I think we've only seen one other woman on every nude beach we've been to in New Zealand. And here it's a perfect mix. It's strange, like you wonder why people, why it works on this beach and not on, a, on any other beach in New Zealand. Maybe it's because it's an island and things are different on an island. Maybe it's because it's a holiday destination and people do different things when they are on holiday. I don't know. 
if you purely look at the people and the vibe, this beach could easily be a beach in Europe. But then you have it much nicer colors and much clearer water and much bluer sky. New Zealand colors. Another big difference between the other beaches that we've been in New Zealand is that on this beach you don't have any meerkats. People just are reading a book, laying down, enjoying themselves, being super social. It is, yeah, the vibe is very chill, very chill vibe. So a little Palm Beach, quite a lot of points for scenic and beauty. A lot, a lot of points for vibe, but of course, there's one other thing we still need to test. Let's check out the water. It actually doesn't feel too bad to be <laughs> to be in New Zealand. Ooh, the, the deeper we go, the colder it gets, but it's still okay. It's funny that you always pointed out in the video, like, okay, we're gonna test the water, and then just I need to test it. This is far enough for me. Knee deep is, is further than, than knee deep. It's so good. I would say we're looking at uh, 24, 25, maybe 26 degrees. It's doable. Is it doable to go all in? Ah, oh, why not? <laughs> Finally, this is the only beach in all of New Zealand where I did this. Wait, 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 wait. Give me the cameras. Okay. It only counts when your head is on the water. Now you did it. <laughs> now we did New Zealand. Woo! Now we can go home. <laughs> no, not yet. No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> We've been on this nude beach for about three hours now and I am on my way to do yet another beer run. Maybe this is a secret of this beach that there's a liquor store very close by, but I've doubted it. Like, it's very strange to, it's very, it's very hard to explain to you because this is definitely not the most beautiful nude beach we've seen in New Zealand. But if you look at the whole package, it's by far the best one. And especially when it comes to vibe, and this is probably the most important. If you think about it, you can be on the most beautiful beach you've ever been to, but if there's a strange guy eyeballing you all the time, or if you have to make sure that you get dressed or that you are careful that nobody takes offense of your nudity, that kind of sucks all the fun out of it. Whereas here, it's so very normal to be naked here. It's so great. And that kind of summarizes it for me, I think. It's all about acceptance, it's all about feeling normal. And this would be a great way to end this video, but we got an inside tip about another nude beach on this island. And we're gonna explore it, but it's not gonna be today. It's gonna be for tomorrow. It's another beautiful morning on Waiheke Island. Perfect for a morning walk of about 45 minutes to the beach. We could take the bus, of course, but why take a buzz if we can get some exercise? But when you take the bus, you don't get to see views like this. And over there, there we go. I think. It took us about an hour to get from Palm Beach to Onetangi Beach. It's only three kilometers, but because of the, all the ups and downs and uh, one or two stops to gaze at the scenery, it took, yeah, it took about an hour, but it's worth it. This is 
It's a really beautiful beach, looks totally different than Palm Beach. And if everything goes well, the nude section should be at the north, at a place called Little Olitangi Beach. There is some rock climbing involved. This is high tide at the moment. I imagine that in an hour or maybe two we can just walk back via the beach. But yeah, we're here now. We didn't, we're not here in an hour or two. Let's just hope that there is a beach yeah. on the other side. All right, plan B. Just jumps around like a mountain goat. Make us look ridiculous. Exactly. In our underwear. But we're going for the seaside. All right, we got to the first cove. I got Lindsay still on her way. My underwear is a little bit wet. That's why I was still wearing underwear. People sometimes ask us, they trust, why we bother wearing underwear? Well, this is why. If we have to cross the sea and we're not yet on the nude beach. And in our life, this happens more frequently than you would imagine. The other guy is already naked in the sea. We're almost there. <laughs> yeah. Luckily the sun is out, so we can dry. <laughs> this beach is totally different than Little Palm Beach where we were yesterday. There's almost no people. The guy who passed by us and one other couple, but that's it. Maybe it's because it's still kind of early and because the sea is so high that it's hard to get there. I know maybe more people will come. At the moment it looks more like the, all the other nude beaches that we've seen in New Zealand. Very beautiful, but very little social atmosphere and few people. Although this is a very nice beach, it's also very relaxed. And I think if we had one day more on the island and we could go to the nude beach one more time, I think we would go to Palm Beach again. But unfortunately, we don't have one day more. In fact, I think we need to start going. We need to talk. Well, actually we need to say thank you. Thank you for stalking us, for almost hunting us down, for sending us all these messages that we really, really have to go to Waiheke Island. Because without those, I'm pretty sure that we would never have been to the island and we would never have had this really cool experience. So thank you very much for that. And it was a great end of our stay in New Zealand because this, these are literally our last hours in New Zealand. Tomorrow morning we're flying out to another destination and we're coming back to Australia. Yeah. The, the last time we were there, there was a, a cyclone that messed up quite some of our plans. Yeah. So we're gonna try to do these plans right now. All right, well, at least in the coming weeks. So that is what you can expect in the next videos. But yeah, that's gonna be for next week. So if you don't wanna miss that. You know what to do, subscribe to our channel. And if you like this video, thumbs up. And I was gonna, I will gonna say, keep stalking us with amazing <laughs> things and putting ideas in our head because it was amazing. And we just see you next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you. Unboxing. Oh. Let's do the unboxing. Ooh. Like. Thank you, baby. <laughs> okay, okay, unboxing. <laughs> so we have the card. It's in a very beautiful blue box. Which which cost us five dollars. Which cost us five dollars. Wait, wait, wait. No, don't film that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> It's not our no, bus. Again, you want to do a, a No, re no, no. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's just a $5 card. Ta-da!